Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, my mom is going to be making a beautiful textured resin tray. She'll be making a complete DIY mold for this, so this is something that you can follow along at home with only a few items. She has an MDF board which will work as the base, and she's cutting out some styrofoam to fit along the edges of this board, which she'll tape together, and this will be the mold. So she starts cutting her styrofoam along the edges of the board to make sure that her dimensions are correct. And then she takes some packing tape and attaches it to the board. This is going to be what's giving the shape of the tray, though she won't be pouring directly into this because she will be pulling out a vinyl sheet later and that's what she'll be pouring onto. She tapes on the inside too to make sure that that styrofoam is nice and sturdy. She has a collection of some rocks and pebbles and this will be what is giving the texture to our tray. She spreads them around the board. Then she takes some packing peanuts and she's cutting them in half to have more of them and this will also help provide more texture. She plays around with the placement and then places her vinyl sheet on top. This is a flexible sheet of vinyl and the resin once hardened will come right off. Now that she has that all ready, she can mix in her resin. In this video, she's using craft resin, which is a one-to-one -one ratio by volume. So she poured in equal parts of the A and B and poured those into a larger cup and is mixing that together well for several minutes. I'll have a discount code for craft resin in my description if you want to give them a try. Now she'll be using Liquitex's acrylic ink in the shade Carbon Black. She adds in about 9 drops into her large cup of resin and mixes that all together. Now she's separating some into a smaller cup which she'll be pouring out of, and it's always easier to pour out from a smaller cup for more control. And she gives that another good mix just to ensure that this is really being mixed thoroughly. Before she pours, she takes a heat gun and goes over the vinyl. and the heat will help for the vinyl to contract and gain a little bit more shape. Now she slowly pours in her resin. She refills her small cup to pour more resin, but first is making some little adjustments with the pebbles. Then she goes in just with her hands to adjust the shape of the pebbles and giving the tray more definition. She carefully goes over the area with a torch gun to pop any air bubbles, so with this you want to be really careful not to burn the vinyl. So you can also use your heat gun to pop air bubbles, though it's not as effective, but it can still do the job and has a lower chance of burning your vinyl. 
She allows this layer to harden and comes back the next day. She's mixing in her resin once more to do another small layer of black resin. Once her resin is mixed in well, she's going in with Pinata's black alcohol ink. Again, she adds in 9 drops and mixes that in well. And just like last time, she's going to be separating this into smaller cups so it's easier to pour into her mold. And once we repot our resin, we always like to give it another mix, just in case there were areas that were missed previously. After mixing, air bubbles tend to rise to the top of your cup, so you can go in with a torch gun just to pop those right away. Now she's ready to pour. And she uses her torch gun to pop any air bubbles. I'll have all the products that you see in this video listed in my description, so if you're interested in giving this tutorial a try, be sure to check that out. And if you're enjoying this video, please let me know by leaving a comment or a like. She's going to leave this to harden, but before she does so, she always covers her resin piece with something to ensure that no dust particles or fibers fly into the resin while it's hardening. She came back the next day, and now she's able to remove her resin piece from the mold and from the vinyl. She uses an X-Acto knife to scrape off any sharp or lifted edges. Now she'll be adding on a top coat to make sure that the surface is nice and smooth and has a domed edge. So before she does that, she takes her sanding tool and sands down her resin tray. Then she mixed in her resin once again, and this time around also added in her black alcohol ink, but used fewer drops so that the resin is more transparent. She uses a silicon makeup brush to spread out the resin and make sure that it's reached the very edge. I have a whole video dedicated to our top coating process, so if you're interested in that, I'll leave it linked above. She uses her fingers to coat the edges of the tray with resin, and this will make the edges nice and smooth.
Once that layer has hardened, she decided to add some resin onto the back side of the tray as well, just to smooth out some of those areas and provide the tray with a little more thickness. And here's the final product. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.